Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And we have just finished Christmas time and it is raining and horrible in the UK. But I thought, I hope you all had a wonderful festive time. Whatever you were doing, I hope you were able to share it with people that you loved, whether it's friends or family. Um, it's a beautiful time of year and I was very lucky to spend it with my family, which is lovely, and my grandchildren and all of those things. So I wish you all um, a beautiful time and I hope you've had a really nice uh, um, few days break. However... It is, under my umbrella, it is really, the weather in the UK has been horrendous. We had um, a day's breather on Christmas Day when the sun was out, but it's been raining and raining and raining and raining and raining. So I thought I would get this set out. This is available on the 3rd of January under my umbrella. It comes with a coordinating punch, so you can punch out the um, this... We do it this way so I don't get any light on it. You can punch out this one, you can punch out this one, and you can punch out the um, um, little handle that goes with the umbrella. Um, so really sweet set, pretty flowers, lovely sayings, particularly with this awful weather. So no matter the weather, we're friends forever. Rain or shine, you're always on my mind. Life showers bring love's flowers. So really pretty, pretty set. Um, it comes in the new mini catalogue which is available on um, January the 3rd through till June. If you would like a copy of this please let me know down below and I will be happy to send it out if you are in the UK, France, Germany or the Netherlands. I can send it to anywhere over there and there are stamp sets and things in each one of those languages so absolutely lovely. Um, now, getting back to this one, I thought we would do something, even though it, it's horrible, we'll do something which is very bright and very cheery. And we are not going to be using the stamp set, uh, sorry, the punch to start off with. We're just going to be using the stamp set because some of us don't want to buy everything together. We just want to get the stamp set. And this stamp set has got 15 different stamps. So I thought that we would start with the little boots because I think the boots are absolutely lovely so you just need some scraps so I've got a little scrap here and um, you'll notice I've got a template in there that I punched it out so if I want to cut all of them out together I can just put the um, stamps inside the template and then when I punch it out, I know it'll be absolutely perfect so I keep that in the box but we are going to use these lovely little boots so let's get those out and we're just going to use a block, put those on there and I'm just going to stamp those out in a good black ink, whichever your favourite black ink is. So let's just punch, stamp that out and you've got your little boots. So I'm just going to clean that one off. Now, down to you how you decide to colour them. Um, you can colour them with our blends. You can colour them with watercolour pencils. You can colour them with um, our aqua painter and some inks. Um, entirely up to you. I've done some of this in preparation and I used a multitude of different um, alcohol markers. So I'm just going to show you on here. Let's do um, let's do Granny Apple Green. That's quite a nice sort of bright colour. So I'm going to take the light Granny Apple Green and very quickly and simply just colour in the image. Now I always tend to go round the outside first because I don't want it to bleed through. And if I do that first, I find that then it doesn't bleed through. And as you know, I do my little dotty bits if I'm going into tiny little areas. But because we don't want it to go through, it's easier to just do a little outline first. And then that will stop it bleeding through quite as much. So 
you don't want it to come right over your black lines because I haven't waited for this to dry. Um, a good suggestion is to wait for your ink, whichever ink you're using, to dry first. Um, lots of people use the Memento. Um, you can use really whatever you want as long as you allow it to dry a little bit or you don't go right up into the line. So you can see I'm just laying down the light colour first. Just filling in those little bits and it will dry quite quickly. And then I'm going to take the dark. Our blends come in two... Um, two colour combinations so you have a light and a dark and I'm just going to do the top of the welly or the boot and the bottom in the dark so I've got just got the little sole in a dark darker green and then I'm just going to do and in fact I will do my line down there again so I know that it's not going to bleed through and my line in on here so I know that's not going to bleed through. And I'm just going to stroke across with a little line to just give a bit of light and dark to the welly. Or the Wellington boot, we call them wellies. Like that. And then we're going to go back in again with the granny apple green and just blend where that seam line is. And I do that in sort of little circular motions bring it across to the edge and again on here little circular motions and bring it across to the edge okay and then let's do that it just needs a little bit more on there and as it starts to dry you will get that light and dark coming through and then all I'm going to do is to take my paper snips and to just cut him out. Um, very simple to do. I'm not going to cut the whole thing out because I can do it afterwards. But you literally, it's a very simple shape to do. So it's quite easy to cut out. As I say, there's the punch for the umbrella. But the little boots, you will need to fussy cut out. Um, but as I say, they're quite, quite simple little shapes to do. So it won't take you very long. little piece out I'm going to do the whole thing because as I say it's a waste not to just do it out but then you have your little welly and what I've done is I have done six of these so I've made six wellies and I've done them in all different colors because I thought well it'd be quite nice to do them in different colors now you could just stamp this on if you didn't want to do the fussy cutting you could do that, but I just wanted a little bit of extra interest on here. So let me get the uh, um, the card out that we're going to do. And I'm going to take these just sort of off here so we can just see what we're doing. So I've got a card base. And I've just taken some um, of the Granny Apple Green to go in on the bottom like that for my mat and then I have taken the smallest of the stitched shapes the little squares and I am going to put these little Wellingtons in with a dimensional just to add a little bit of height if you're posting it somewhere you don't need to do the dimensional you can just do it straight down with uh, um, with some glue so let me show you um, I'm going to do it that way, I think, says me. So we're just going to take a little bit of wet glue. Um, as I say, you can put the dimensional in on there if you want to. Um, you know what, it's probably going to be... I'm always dithering, aren't I? Never mind. I'm going to just glue them on, I think, because I don't want to um, have too much height for the post. So... We'll just take this little one and we'll just line him up. I'm lining up the bottom of the welly on the stitching. Like 
and then just putting it in like that so you've got one little welly like that okay and then you just work your way through you can put um, dimensionals um, on there if you want I'm not going to glue them all on because you don't really need to see that but all I've done is I've just taken different colors this one I did in the um, Highland Heather and just put them as striped wellies so we've got that one there I wanted them all bright and then I've done this one in the um, I can't remember what blue that was now. Um, the balmy blue, which was the dark and the light in that one. This one is done in the real red. This one is done in the um, daffodil delight. And as I say, you can do them in whatever colour you want. And this one I did in um, one of the pinks. And I'm going to put that one down at the bottom. Okay, so then you have your four little welly or your six little wellies with a little border, like little inchies. And, uh, and that makes a really lovely card. You can obviously add extra things in there if you want to. You can put a sentiment on or you can just have it like that. Now, for the background of this, we can add something a little bit extra on there. So I'm just going to take these off for now. Because that makes it a pretty card as it is. But because we've got these flowers in... We can step it up a bit or we can do the raindrops. So we have a choice. There's raindrops so you can have the wellies, um, you know, pouring with rain. Or if you wanted to, you can have these flowers. And I think I'm going to do the flowers today. <clears throat> so we have two different, um, we've got two large and two small in the flowers. And I think I'm going to have, I want something that's fairly sort of, open on here so that one I think I don't want the one that comes up too much I don't think I just want this one so again I'm just going to take a block and I'm going to do that in my background's in the green so I'm going to do it in um let me just do it in a neutral I think um I might just do it in no, don't think crumb cake will work. Um, maybe let's do it in... Um, I'm going to do it in a green, so I'm going to do it almost sort of tone on tone. So let me take... Um, I'm going to find my granny apple green up in on here. So many different tones of green. That's quite bright, and I think that that will work quite nicely. So let's open this up. I do struggle with this um, opening of these, even with this sort of clicking bit that you can do. Right, and we're just going to take a little bit of scrap paper so I don't use my... Let's fold that in half like that because I'm going to go off on the edges a bit with this. So with this, we're literally just going to just randomly give a little bit of a background on here don't want it overly busy so I'm not doing too many on there whoops missed that one off a little bit didn't I let's hope that that'll um in there and we'll have one in there like that okay so that's just given us a very quick simple background you can obviously use designer series paper if you want to, but I want to show you how you can do things completely just with one stamp set. And as you know, my, my thing is making the most of everything that you've got. When you buy a stamp set, you've invested in it and you want to be able to demonstrate that you can do as much as you can with it. So let's take that out and see how that works. So we've got our base on here. Going to put that on like that and then we're going to put our wellies back on so we'll have one two 
to three. I can't remember which way I did them round. Four. The red ones are nice. Whoops. pink ones at the bottom and that does cover up that little bit that I blocked on there okay and then just line them up as you want and you've got a really sweet card with some wellies on very simple you could add a bit of ribbon if you wanted to you could add a sentiment but it just shows you with one stamp and a bit of floral at the back you've got a really nice bright fancy card now I'll show you another one that I did a little bit earlier on and this is just taking the umbrella image. And for this one, I just took them and take the base out. Um, all I did for, for this was to put, now a little tip for you. If you take the umbrella, so let's, um, let's put this back in here a minute and I'll show you. Um, because I thought it was a, um, a nice, simple, easy way of doing it that doesn't involve doing a... Um, you can do it all together. So if you take the umbrella and you put that on your block like that and then you take the umbrella handle and you literally just put that in up against it like that. Then you can stamp it very easily straight down in one so I'm just going to show you on um, this is just a bit of copy paper just to show you how I did it um, because I found it worked really quickly so if we just take our black ink move this one up out of the way so it's not in there and just ink that up like that then if you stamp it put the angle like that OK, now you will see that it's very easy to then stamp them all along. However, you're going to say, aha, but the handle doesn't actually reach. Well, if you get our stamping right marker in the black and then when you've put them all on, it's very simple and easy to do is to just draw the line up on there so you then have your umbrella so it means that it's quicker and easy to stamp them all and um, when you then get to stamping the next one so you've got this one on here you can see some of these are quite close and I've done the raindrops behind so to stop the raindrops going all over the card what I did was I did use the punch and I just made a very simple mask so all I did was copy paper because it's nice and thin and then you can put this over the top quite easily and then take in here, there's the lovely raindrops. So this one was a rainy card. So by doing the mask, it enabled me to then have the raindrops behind the card like that. And then you've just got the colours. And again, I used really bright, happy colours. Um, the sentiment was, no matter the weather, we're friends forever. And then I actually just wanted to mat it on the black because I wanted it, as I say, to stand out quite nicely. I wanted it bright and cheery. So what I did was I took the new painted labels dies and I used the small frame, which is this one. Okay, so I used the small frame and I just did it to round the edges because I didn't want it that wide because it would cover up too many of the, uh, um, the umbrellas. So I just did it from there. And then I stuck that piece onto a piece of black cardstock and then fussy cut round it. And then I did two 
of these lovely little pieces just to add a little bit of detail down the bottom so if you're somebody who's not a ribbon person it's quite a good way you can just die cut those out if you don't have those you've just got the stamp set then just do the colors like I did on the other one and make it a, um, a nice bright card to cheer somebody up on a wet miserable day so these are the two cards that we've made today let's move some of this out of the way so we've got umbrellas whoops slide that up a bit we've got umbrellas on one I say I will put them together afterwards but you don't want to see that we've got the umbrellas on one and we've got the Wellington boots on the other bright cheery colors and we're just using the under my umbrella um, stamp set and as I say you can use the punch if you wanted to on those ones to make them stand out like this one um, but you can fussy cut them out as well so thank you so much for watching me do look forward to seeing you again bye bye